area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Geico, where I'm at the pipe go I could call a fiend to give a hundred grams lipo Half a 30 perker said I call her for the throat and neck If he a op and he ain't dead, then he ain't never pose a threat Hammer spit, blowing Cali buzz, this banana piss Praying to the heavens, panoramic shit We don't do no pork, beat the course, I might lease a Porsche Lamborghini trucks on Lies Ave, who the king of Nork? Check, check, check Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, take a seat Cause we gotta speak, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the latest content, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. Click and blame. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore. Fly, tell your mama I said hi. Let the clippers spark. I know you're wondering why I got on a coat because my studio is colder than the stripper's heart. Let's just get right into this thing here. So, um, Sue Surf versus John John and Don. I'm asking the question is this about to be a judge battle? A judged battle? Hold on, per se. I, I, from what I'm seeing here, you know, salute to everybody that uh, has Twitter, the folks who ain't on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be in these tweet streets, and, you know, I see what people are saying out here, you know what I'm saying? So, salute to Za414. He says, real good should be one of the judges for John John and Sue Surf battle. He keep it real, 100, no matter how you niggas feel. Then Sue Surf says, don't keep it no one effing hundred arrogant ass hater. And then he was saying, what about me? You know what I'm saying? And then the dude was asking about other people. He said, what about Vada Fly? And then Sue Sir said, I was secretly shady too, I guess as far as his career. But see, the thing is, the truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth. Um, let's just go back. So this is just me addressing Sue Surf, you know what I'm saying? Um, when your last album came out or when the one before 725 came out, I recall doing a review on the mixtape, I recall doing a review on the album. I recall reviewing the bars on I-95 Freestyle. I recall reviewing all of your battles. I recall saying you beat Geechee Gotti, got you in the Reed joint. I recall purchasing your album before it even came out. Um, I recall supporting you in a lot of your other movements and endeavors. And now you got the uh, joint with the Nike, the, the House of Hoops, and a lot of other things. See, the thing is... You know what I'm saying? Like like Calico said in his last battle, I ain't gonna be bootlicking to being Kahoot Switcher. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to, I don't hate Sue Surf. You know what I'm saying? I like what he does. I love his music. Uh, I love the joint that he had on his last um, project with Jim Jones. Pray careful who you love, careful who you love. I love his music. I think it's fire. But the thing is, that is not gonna substitute the fact that some of the battles have been less than stellar. It is what it is. That's the thing. I'm not, I don't do that. I'm not gonna do like, we blog on the shit that we blog on. I'm not gonna cut corners. We make money together. Like me talking about your project. Matter of fact, he does have a project that is coming out tonight. It is called, I'm gonna, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna promote it, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's always love. It's called Until Further Notice. He has some features on here like Vori, Young M.A. He has uh, Leaf Ward from Philly, who's actually pretty fire. He's got Fabulous on here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's got some tracks on here. It's called Until Further Notice. That's the joint. It's coming out tonight. I did tweet about it earlier and I will peep it. You know what I'm saying? This is all from somebody who hates Sue Surf. You know what I'm saying? Wow, this is crazy. I hate you so much that I'll promote your project for, for nothing. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, you know what's funny? I'll tell you about a lot of these artists, man. And when you do what we do here at a high level, you have to have thick skin because you could talk about something in a positive, you could talk about their music, you could promote their projects, you won't even get a retweet. You won't they won't retweet you, they won't shout, they won't they won't show no love. But as soon as you say something that they don't feel, or you say they lost the battle, or you say a battle wasn't that great, it's automatically the next way for you. You know what I'm saying? Like I like I literally cash at paid for his album before it came out when it before. And I would do it again, like I support the artist, you know what I'm saying? Like support what he has going on. But to say that somebody hates you or somebody's hating on you, I don't have anything to gain by hating on Sue Surf. I have nothing to gain. I'm not trying to battle you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not asking for no interviews. I don't ask for anything. See, the one thing that's derived about this content right here 
It's I don't need the artist. Like I don't need to be in camera in the artist's face. I can literally sit in front of my camera and talk about it. So let's talk about a judged battle per se. You have John John the Don coming up on Summer Madness. The consensus, it's not just me. A large consensus feels like, and they feel like, you're not gonna win. And the reason why, I'm gonna tell you why people feel like you're not gonna win. Cause John John Adon is consistently good. Like he consists, when is the last time John John Adon hasn't brought three rounds? I'll wait. When is the last time John John Adon has either choked or anything in the battle? I'll wait. When is the last time he has not been consistent? I will wait. We can continue to do this all day. See, the thing is, it's like basketball until it's not like basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got somebody who's consistently Ben Simmons, per se. Let's talk about it. Ben Simmons. Consistently bad shooter. Will not shoot a jump shot outside of five feet. Doesn't like shooting free throws. They couldn't even put him on the court in the fourth quarter. Couldn't. They could not put him on the fourth court. He was on, in the last five minutes of the game, Ben Simmons could not be on the court. And the reason why he couldn't be on the court is because he couldn't make free throws and he got to a point where he wouldn't even take a shot. Now, let's hope his confidence exudes and gets better and that he starts to learn to do some of the things that could have him be a good complimentary piece for Joel Embiid because as it's now constructed, they probably won't win much with him because Joel Embiid is a big man who's in the paint and when he gets the rock, Ben Simmons' man will double team off of him because they know he's not going to shoot. Now, let's take that to battle rap. John John Adon. We know for sure he comes with three rounds every time. We know he's going to bring it. And we know he does extremely well in grudge matches. Can Sue Surf have three rounds? Yes. Can he win battles? Yes, he has done that. I've seen him bring material in dope battles. I've seen it. But we cannot sit there and negate the fact that the, the numbers are what they are. Like, it is what it is. Nobody can. We can't debate that. We're supposed to forget about Nitty, forget about T-Top, forget about Loaded Lux for crying out loud. Beloved, we're going to forget about that. Okay, that didn't happen. So, what I see is the way it's being projected is if you speak about anything that is not a positive instead of going this way you're retroactively being a hater which is why i made up the saying the truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth so it's since i would speak on some truthful things it sounds like hate back to let's talk about a judge battle a judge battle should be amongst people who have no who have no bias towards him who don't want to battle him, you know what I'm saying? Like, cats, you don't want to pick battlers who are trying to battle him or have had issues and shit like that. You wouldn't pick them because, you know, it, it, it's, it's not going to bode well. But his battles ain't hard to judge. That's the one thing about it that's so crazy. Surf's battle, I've never recapped a battle of his that was hard to judge. There are some MCs who have hard battles to judge because they do so well and it comes 1-1 down to the third or it's like a tight, close-knit battle. Those are some, I, like, I've seen a lot of MCs, the DNAs, the Chilla Jones, you know what I'm saying? Some of them cats, a lot of them cats who are very lyrical, those battles be kind of hard to judge. Danny Myers has some hard to judge battles. I ain't, I've been doing this here consistently for the latter part of five years, and I don't recall a Sue Surf battle that I've ever seen that has been hard to judge. I'm sorry, like, I, I just can't go with that notion. Now, I can see where you could say, you could call good to hater, you, you know what I'm saying? I can see where that would be said, because, you know, y'all have had y'all friction back and forth and things like that, and he wants to battle you, or you want to battle, whatever the case may be. But, if it was judged, I would still go with John John. The reason why is because he, what he's consistently good at doing. And the thing is, I'm not, I, trust me, he's really good at what he does. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be talking between the battles, whether it be promoting his music, whether it be talking shit back and forth with battles. He's very good at what he does. He's great at it. And he's always going to be booked. He's a, he has a name. He puts out good content. He has a huge following. So he's always going to be in the limelight. And he's always going to be booked. But listen here, partner. Niggas don't got to hate on you. You know what I'm saying? We all, trust me, niggas is doing good in life. I'm retired. I own a home. I'm doing very well, my nigga. Like, I'm very well. My jewelry is real, nigga. I don't have no reason to hate on no battle rapper, or no, he's more of an artist now, you know what I'm saying? He's doing bigger things. Um, 
But the thing is, you know, if you want to be the king, do your thing in the ring. That's all that is. John John is going to break it. Like, it is what it is. In grudge matches, he brings it. Like, I don't even know what we're doing here. Like, <laughs> you can't. Are you serious? And if you beat him, I got no problem saying it. That's the funniest, that's the craziest thing in the world. Like, if you beat, if Surf, Surf beats John John, which would be a surprise to a lot of us. I'm not going to hold you. If he beat him, I'd have no problem saying he's done it. But the thing is, the reason why, I don't, I think you should know the reason why people feel how they feel. Like, I, we're not going to act oblivious here. You should know why people feel how they feel. We've spoke before. We've text. I'm, I got no issue with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. I've spoke to him. We, we, I, I feel like we're cool. I mean, it is what it is. I don't got no problem with you. But it's just the fact that you go with this notion that people hate you, you know what I'm saying? And I don't hate nobody, especially Sue Surf. He's a fucking artist, you know what I'm saying? You do your thing, you bring it, it is what it is. If you don't bring it, we can't not speak about it. This is like LeBron, per se. If LeBron doesn't win the, the championship with the team that he's been put around this year, do you think nobody's going to talk about it? People are talking about 2K ratings, like LeBron's 2K rating or Durant's 2K rating. Like, that's, that's a subject. It's subject matter. People talk about these things. The ups and downs of these artists is talked about and it's scrutinized. You know what I'm saying? Like when Showtime SP is here, we talk about these things. But, I mean, if it's a judge battle, they said it's a, from what I read, a judged battle for 20,000. I didn't hear this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just seen tweets and seen people talking about it. Uh, you would think that if there's, if it's being bread put on a line like that, a nigga gonna bring three rounds. Like, that's the thing. And it, it's been that narrative and that notion if he brings three rounds. And I know I'm not bugging by saying that because that shit's been said quite often. Am I tripping? I just wanna know if I'm tripping. Okay. But anyway, salute to uh, Sue Surf. He has a project coming out tomorrow until further notice. Uh, like I said, he's got features on there like Fab. He's got some other joints on there. It's coming out tonight, as a matter of fact, at midnight. I'll be sure to check that out. Uh, but it, this is what you want. You want the judge battle. If that's what you agreed to, you have to realize that whatever the decision is, is going to be what it's going to be. Gang.